Hey guys, it's Natasha. It's been a while since I've been in my room, it's crazy. I've been filming in my basement a lot because the lighting just seems to always work there, so that's been really convenient. And the lighting in my room is kind of hard to get to work most of the time. Right now, I'm pretty sure I look really yellow too. Do I? No, it's actually not the best. Today, I want to tell you guys a story about taking the permit test. The DMV permit test. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning 16 next week, and I got my permit on September 30th. When I first turned 15, um, I was really, really busy. There's a lot going on, and um, it's because October is always the busiest month for me. So I was like, you know, I'll get my permit in November. I never got around to it, so in December, I finally went to get my permit. I failed the first time I took it. And so I remember, like, I didn't study at all, because I thought, oh, it's so easy that you don't have to study for permit test, like, it's whatever. The first time I took it, I had a lot of, like, motorcycle questions, and I understand that's in the manual. I didn't realize that when I first took it. So I complained to my mom, like, there were so many questions about motorcycles, I didn't know any of it. And um, she was like, no, it's okay, just study and go back tomorrow. And I was like, okay. The thing about me is that I'm, like, one of the oldest amongst my friends, so I was, like, the first person to take the test out of all of my good friends. So no one was there to tell me that this test was actually something that you had to study for. So um, I didn't study the second time either. I kind of <laughs> looked at the manual, was like, okay, like now I've got it. Like I looked at the questions that I missed. I went there the second time and I failed the second time too. And that was really embarrassing. They were like, come back in a week. And I never went back because I was too scared to go back. And like the second time I took it, it was way worse because my mom was standing right outside the glass, like looking at me and she was like, you better pass. And I'm like, I don't know. I'd already gotten four wrong when she was looking at me. And I was like, oh my God, I can only get one more wrong. And then I got five wrong and then I failed. So <laughs> the weekend of September 30th I built up enough courage to go to try to get my permit again so my parents and I went up to the desk with the lady and she was like it's your first time taking it and all of us just kind of looked at each other and my mom goes no <laughs> and it was really really awkward for a second and she was like no that's okay like it's fine it happens to a lot of people and um my mom's like yeah this is our third time taking it and um she was like it's okay like i'm sure you're prepared now so i was like okay that's like no pressure at all <laughs> my mom said to the lady at the desk you know last time natasha got a lot of motorcycle questions and in my head i was like stop talking and this lady was like, oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff about motorcycles in the manual that you're supposed to read. And of course, you know, I read the manual. I kind of looked over it before I went this third time. I had taken like a ton of practice tests online, so I thought I was really ready to go. So I go into the room and I sit down at the computer and I click start on the test. And guess what my first question is about? A motorcycle. <laughs> And I was like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't know the answer. That was a question I spent the longest time on. And um, your girl got it wrong. <laughs> so I got the first question wrong on the test. And see, I wasn't that nervous before I started taking it, but after I got the first question wrong, I was like shaking. In the end, I only ended up missing four and were allowed to miss five, so I did pass. So. <laughs> so, um, this past couple days I've been going driving, practicing in empty parking lots. So the first time I went driving, I had no idea the car moved if you weren't pushing the accelerator. That was an adventure for me. And the second time I went driving, the first thing I asked when I got in the car was... Which one's the accelerator? My mom. I feel so bad for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, just so you know, study for the permit test if you haven't taken it already. You actually need to study for it. I don't care if you have a 4.0 GPA, okay? <laughs> you need to study for the permit test. I mean, I consider myself a good student. I, I get good grades. And I thought, you know, I'm smart, right? So I'll be fine. But I wasn't. So don't put yourself through that trouble. I literally could have been driving on my own next week if I had gotten my permit on time and studied. I don't know, I was just lazy and that's not a good thing. So guys, if you're going to get your permit, study. It'll save you like a lot of time and you'll be able to drive sooner. Please don't be like me. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's all I have for this week. I just wanted to share this story with you guys to make any of you that might have failed the permit test feel a little better because I failed twice. So yeah. That's all. If you like this week's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps out a lot. I upload videos every Saturday, so also be sure to subscribe. All of my social media stuff is in the description below, so you can check that out from down there. But other than that, I'm gonna go, so I will see you guys next week with another video. So until then, bye!